again, you guys. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Courtney Revolution. <laughs> a lot of tea went down this week in regards to the Car Jenners, and we're going to recap it all. So the Car Jenner themed Moments of the Week. Ooh. We're going to talk about when Travis's alleged side chick shaded Kylie, Ooh. Tristan thirsted after Chloe's photo, and then the real shocking news <laughs> when Chloe reacted to one of his. Literally, what the hell happened this week? <laughs> Plus, we also need to discuss some other headlines we didn't have time to get to this week, but first, let's talk about Miss Kylie and Young Sweet Row, this whole situation. So, Lord. Kylie Jenner hinted at a Travis Scott reconciliation at the beginning of the week on her Instagram story. She had three separate pics of them saying, mm. it's a move. Hey. We all saw those. We were like, what's happening? Oh my gosh, are they back together? Is this the announcement? Yes, yes, yes. Now, that excitement was a little bit short-lived because then the Shade Room pointed out that ah. after <laughs> Kylie's posts, Young Sweet Ro had some interesting posts on her Instagram story. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing she posted was a laughing gif and then a story that reads, people be in secret competition with you and still be losing. Mm. What do you think? I don't think it's connected. See, here's the thing. Because Shane... we had been saying, like, Young Sweet, we think we are, we're wrong on that. Yes, my thing is this. It wouldn't even be a thing had Shade Room not posted it out to a whole bunch of negative people with already negative commentary to stir it all up. Mm -hmm. So Young Sweet Row could have been talking about some girl on her college campus that was playing around. Like, you get know what I'm saying? And Trying we, to steal her notes after chemistry. We would just never know. Right. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, y'all say stop making stupid people famous. Mm -hmm. Y'all keep, y'all are the first ones, Young Sweet Row is not real. She's a troll, she's fake, blah, blah, blah. But y'all keep lifting her up as this. Right acclaimed side chick right and if she's not let her get her degree and leave her alone i also think she is smart in knowing that people love to connect her to kylie and travis mm -hmm. like even though she loves to claim she doesn't like that attention yes. she does mm -hmm. um, because, everything. right she posted on her in instagram like after everyone was talking about it too and was like Oh, haters who are gossiping about me, like, get a life, you're a miserable idiot. And I was like... I saw that, and I was like, well, I ain't at work. So yeah. I, was like, I literally was like, well, I know she's talking to me. Yeah, she was 1,000% right to me. But I was like, first of all, I'm not miserable, I'm not an idiot, and I get paid to be here, so... Middle fingers up to you, you don't see well. Oh! No, but I, I do think that people just like to connect them. She knows mm -hmm. that. And she can sit there and say she doesn't like to be connected to the narrative. Mm -hmm. She does. Or she, else, she should just lean into it if right. that's the case. She yeah. would, or else she wouldn't be doing this. You know what I'm My saying? My question is, is why do we think that Young Sweet Row don't have no brand deals? Well, it, that part of it don't add up to me You still. know that she has said it's because of the Car Jenners, but I will say you're right about that. She never posts anything. Because they're never, reaching out to her. That's, that's no something I don't know. No flat tummy tea, no yeah. teeth whitening. That Car Jenner stands, why can't Young Sweet Row do brand deals? She's fake, she's not mm -hmm. real, she ain't never met the car Jenner. She, she looks never, like a filter. She ain't never met Trap. How come she can't uh, sell y'all some tea that y'all don't need to be drinking anyway? I, that's my question. That's a if very- If the car Jenners are not involved. Right, very fair point. For school? Right? Maybe, but I don't know. There's something fishy there for sure. I don't even know if it is necessarily in regards to Travis, but mm -hmm. I feel like she got herself involved in the narrative and mm. it got way blown yeah. out of proportion and now there's like no turning back. And girl, at this point, you might as well keep the narrative running mm -hmm. and secure the bag while you're at it. Yep. Happy and graduation. Exactly. <laughs> I think she's doing her, her own thing, Kylie and Travis. We heard that they were on the road to reconciliation this entire mm. week. Then we know at the end of the week, Kylie was seen hanging out with Drake twice. So mm. we don't really know what's happening there, but I'm sure it would all, it will all be clear soon. Weird how as soon as Ro come into the picture, all of a sudden here comes Drake. Oh. I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. I didn't even put For that together that this week until say, right now. Y'all Young Sweet Row don't have nothing to do with nothing, then why does Drake and his eyebrows, no shade to Drake, he has good eyebrows, pop up out of nowhere? You're you know what wrong. I'm saying? Because we ain't heard about Drake in months, mm -hmm. right? At least no. a substantial amount I feel of time. like it's at least been a month and a half. We haven't talked about him in regards to Kylie. I just talked about him in regards to Rihanna, but not Kylie. You're right. Oh, damn. See, this is why we missed you. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Khloe and Tristan, you guys. So Khloe Kardashian posted a little photo of herself showing mm -hmm. off a good American set. Tristan Thompson liked what he saw, left a thirsty comment. Shocker. Of but this one, I will say, was thirstier than we've seen in a while. Uh, he commented and said, saucy with the tongue hat emojis, oh. a drooling emoji, oh. and a hard eye emoji. Is that how you felt when you was kissing those women in the club? Thank on camera? you. That's the only question I have. Did Thank you feel you. that way? Thank you. What'd you think about her? In I good think American? for me, I'm just like the drooling and the tongue out, just Tristan, no one's buying that. Except for Chloe, unfortunately. And that you would think that'd be the one person who wouldn't buy it, but she's, 
She is mine. She's charging it. Every she is. <laughs> swipe, 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 swipe. Uh, she did return the online flirting, kind of, when she reacted to one of Tristan's shirtless workout pictures later in the week. Mm. Uh, so a fan actually tweeted the picture to her. So it was brought to her attention. Uh, but the fan said, you know what? I understand you now, girl, and tagged Chloe. And she responded with a bunch of crying, laughing emojis. And I still don't understand. And Chloe, that's her not girl. even funny. Because no. you out here looking like a clown. Right? You are really out here looking like a clown. And we are all here laughing at you. And you chose the one person that has something Thank nice to say you. about your sweaty baby daddy. You, and that's just it. You know how you see jokes pop up online that you're kind of like, ooh, yeah. that's that. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, Ooh, that's not even funny I said, because girl, that's it's not like, funny. ooh, it just makes <laughs> us cringe. But a source did tell Hollywood Life this week as well that the online flirting we're seeing, especially in regards to Tristan, him mm. flirting with Chloe, it's literally this much compared to what's happening in real life. We're still having the texts, the flowers, uh. the gifts, and he is still determined to win her back, even though we all already know we think that they're already back together. I want Tristan to do an interview. Right? I want him to do an interview. Wendy. Call Tristan. I want to Tristan interview and I want them to ask him Except all the hard I questions. I don't want it to be at Wendy, I want it to be here. But I think after watching maybe Madison. one episode of The Morning Tea, it wouldn't happen. He is not going to let us secure the bag by beating us up when he walk in the studio. <laughs> it's God, he's not gonna hurt Wendy. He's gonna beat us up. That's, that's true. Fine. But we're gonna get the bag after. Well, he's not gonna yeah, let that well honestly, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Maybe you should come. Yes! Tristan, <laughs> come on, tell me! We've already survived one celebrity public lashing. We could survive another sure one. Did. It would be fine. It would be fine. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about the other stories we didn't have time to discuss. A little real Housewives of New Jersey oh, tea. Teresa. Oh, you know. You know. So, <laughs> Teresa Judice. <laughs> <laughs> or Judice, as we like to refer to her here Me. in America. Uh, she showed off her reunion look and the fact that she had her implants removed this week. Really? Don't ask me why I feel the need to also touch my non-implants, but she had them removed. <gasps> and her soon-to-be ex-husband, Joe Judice, oh. commented on the photo saying, nice new boobs with a thumbs up. Now, everyone's just a little confused because it's like, I thought we were divorcing, I yeah. thought we weren't on the same page, but yet we're commenting on each other's Instagram. Sarcasm? That thumbs up says sarcasm. I think the thumbs up is kind of like, I'm happy I don't have to mess with those anymore. That's what. That's how I took it. You right? And if you've watched Real Housewives New Jersey at all, you know, I'm talking to you, my OG people who watched it back in the day. Joe actually used to have a really good sense of humor. Yeah. And then he yeah. start, started drinking a little too much wine and it started like crossing oh. a line of like, are you being rude or are you being funny? But I feel like this is old Joe. He's been through it. Mm -hmm. I feel like he has new perspective. And obviously him and Teresa are still gonna get divorced. Yeah. I think this is him just exactly like you said, kind of being funny and just playing on the fact of like, all right. You got your implants out. He's Good been the you. juicy Joe we remembered once upon a time ago. Exactly. The one that we fell in love with. Yes. Now, the next thing we have to talk about, and this is some news I picked specifically for you because oh. I know you didn't know much about the Dixie Chicks and why they were canceled. Yes. A while back. But everyone, They're back? The Dixie Chicks actually were the first people to ever deal with cancel culture before mm. cancel culture was a thing. Prior to social media. Isn't that wild? Educate the girls. Thank you. That's Educate crazy. Girls, yes. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But they announced this week that they will release mm. their first album in 14 years. And they coming for that bag. It is called Gaslighter. They released a new single by the same name this week. And I am shook. I'll be honest, I didn't know if they were ever going to come back. It was that bad, Madison? So what they said was about George W. Bush, okay. President George W. Bush. And it was bad at the time because that's when, you know, tensions were really high. Of it was course. 2001 time ish. Oh, 2001? Or it was around, it was that, around time. that time. It was around that time? Okay. Okay, I can see so it, it was it was bad. Mm -hmm. However, it's still just crazy to me how quickly they were canceled. Mm -hmm without social media. And maybe now just because people literally can be that, like, it was real. Your then, pinky toe right. is crooked and broken and you look weird. And people are like, that was rude, canceled. You know, and so. That was it, when cancel culture was real. Now. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was. And so, but they're back. I think, you know, Taylor Swift kind of helped them Good. ease back into it with mm -hmm. their collab on her album. Mm -hmm. But if you love the Dixie Tricks back then, well, your time is now. They're I'm here. excited. Book them for the right? festival. I feel like Courtney would just be excited because he's like, yes, let, the them, let them come back. Let them Stage come back. Stagecoach, <laughs> Dixie Chicks, hey, they I'm, better be on the bill. They're not. I'm going to stagecoach. Are this you year. serious? They're not on the bill. No, they're not. Maybe next and year. And that's why I won't be there. <laughs> you won't be giddy at it all now. How about that stagecoach? That'll be me, the Missouri Stagecoach. They should out. be the biggest name on oh, no. the return, the rise of. That's Carrie Underwood. <laughs> Carrie Underwood. Yeah. It's my temporary home, too. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you're thinking. What was your reaction to Young Sweet Rose seemingly shading Kylie Jenner? What do you think is up with her and Travis Scott? Girl, I don't know. Oh, what do you think God. about everything that went down with Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson this week? Does this make you believe that they're back together? And finally, you guys, what are your thoughts on the other headlines we discussed? Dixie Tricks, Gary yeah. Underwood, and, you know, let us know what you think about Juicy Joe. Don't forget. Honestly. Let it out down there in the comments, you guys. Don't forget to tune into the morning tea on Monday, 8.30 a.m. Civic Standard Time. In the meantime, you can shut the Holly Scoop door, subscribe, and click the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.